In this question, what we're asked to do is, we're asked to put a sphere, which is radius 20, touching both the given sphere and the given cone. And it also touches the ground. So the two answers in this question for, for this is either a sphere touching here or a sphere touching here. In this question, we're going to put it touching at the front here. So it means in plan, it's going to be here. Now, to start off this question, we're going to measure in elevation up 20. Now, why are we going to measure up 20? Yes, we know the centre point has to be up 20. So if we draw a light line across the page here, up 20, we know our centre point is somewhere on this line over here. It's somewhere along the centre here and somewhere at the side here. Now, what we'll do is we'll find this sphere in elevation when it touches the side of the cone and when it touches the side of the sphere here. And we'll find that first of all. So, to find a touch on the side of the cone, as we've done in all the other questions, we bisect our angle. Right, so we'll show it properly here on the screen with the compass. And we'll draw our bisecting line here. Now, our centre point then is this point here. That's our centre point. Now, what we can do in this question is we can draw the sphere here if we want. Do we need to draw it there? Why not? You know the centre point and the finished position isn't out here. Now, what we can also do is find the point of contact out here as well. And it's a good idea to find a point of contact. So we're going 90 degrees to the side of the cone and bring from the centre point straight in and mark off POC. So that's the point of contact when the sphere is touching the side of the cone. Now, next, what we'll do is over on the sphere, add 20 mil. So I'm measuring along the radius here, adding 20 mil onto it. Now, what I'm going to do is set my compass to this radius plus the 20 mil. And that'll give me where the, the, the distance between the two centre points. So if we run this arc then, where it crosses over the line that's up 20, this here is where the centre point is for the circle when it's touching the side of this sphere here. Now what we'll also do here, join our two centres together and what will we find here in this position? Point of contact again. So this is the point of contact between the two spheres. When we have that done in elevation, we'll bring down the two centre points and the two points of contact down to plan. Now we're going to be bringing them down onto a level line and the reason we bring them down onto a level line is that's where they're touching the side in elevation. It's on a horizontal line across the middle in plan. So we bring down the two centre points. Now, we'll also bring down the point of contact here. And we'll bring down the point of contact here. Now, in plan, we're going to rotate. So what we're going to do is, we're going to first of all, take this centre point and rotate it around the cone. So we'll take our compass and we'll rotate it around in plan. Then we'll also rotate the point of contact because we'll need that in a few minutes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to now rotate this sphere around the other sphere. So we take the centre point of our compass and put it on the centre point of the original sphere and rotate around our new sphere. And we're going to take our point of contact 
rotate this around and what we've now found is this point here is our center point in plan in its correct position and this is the same as taking the sphere here rolling it around and taking it here rolling it around and where the two center points meet that's our center point now we set our compass to 20 then so if we just set it off our drawing that we've already measured up 20 place it in here and then this is important which is going to be heavy and which is going to be dotted so obviously the sphere is going to block some of the cone and then because it's a smaller sphere it would fit underneath the larger sphere now that's our position and the final thing we'll do in plan find our points of contact so we go from the center point to the center point and mark, er, mark off where we've brought down our center point from elevation and then from our center point to our center point and mark our point of contact and to find them point of contact we've brought them down from elevation rotate them around so we're finding it here and we're finding it here and how we're finding that is we're joining the center points together in plan now the final thing we'll do bring our center point of our sphere straight up and that's the location of it here then we bring up our point of contact for the two spheres bring up our point of contact for the sphere and the cone we we'll first of all draw our sphere in elevation so our sphere in elevation is in this position here so we draw it in heavy then we've brought up our points of contact now we need to get heights now what are the heights for it what we're going to do is we're going to bring our heights across from where we found them already so this is our point of contact when it's touching the side here so the height and elevation of a point of contact doesn't change as you rotate something around so we bring this in here so our first point of contact is here and then for the point of contact with the two spheres this height here so when we bring it across here it's in this position here now to finish the drawing then what we look at is the cone here top of the cone drawn in heavy the bottom section here drawn in heavy and then there's a section of the cone here that is completely hidden by this smaller sphere and then if we look at the large sphere in elevation the large sphere some of it has to be dotted whatever is hidden by this smaller sphere has to be dotted and then the rest of it is drawn in heavy and that's the answer to that question